self-analysis as a matter of teaching quality. Teaching profession today has become more challenging due to the constant development and innovative experiments in the field of education. A role of a teacher is significantly changing. In this era of technology-based teaching, a teacher has to keep himself or herself updated with the latest happenings taking place in the profession. Apart from the personal growth, the teacher also has to focus on professional growth. There are many options available outside in the market which offer help for the same. The best way to achieve this is through self-analysis. A teacher must need to evaluate himself as well as his teaching techniques which in result will help him to find out the components he has to improve in, also realize his strengths and weaknesses. Self-assessment time In the initial period in the teaching profession, one finds it very difficult to get adjusted with classroom management. Even the trained teacher feels themselves under constant pressure. It is because the teacher tries to analyze the learning approach and capabilities of students present in the classroom and does not even think about his techniques and teaching proficiency. In spite of having the overall result of the classroom analysis, the particular teacher lacks just because of the self-analysis. This is the time where he or she has to focus and evaluate self. He must judge his own tactics and rectify them if the outcome is not convincing. Important Ways of Self-Analysis Self-analysis provides an opportunity to the teacher to realize who is he, what is he, and how much capacity he is to bring a positive and expected change in himself. Asking students to complete a questionnaire about the teaching techniques getting feedback from the staff about his approach and discussion with the colleagues regarding the methodologies adopted while teaching particular topic or unit can be the elements of self-analysis. One has to understand oneself if one expect others to be understood by others. Self-analysis is the best way to introspect, self-examine and self-absorption. When we talk about the efficient classroom management and developing leadership qualities among the students, a teacher after self-analysis can surely engage the students in self-reflection making them face the academic challenges with more confidence and vigor. Other formal ways of self-analysis include taking various aptitude tests, assessment tasks and collecting information from various reliable sources for self-improvement. The factual knowledge about oneself is the real strength of a teacher which can be utilized as a strong teaching aid in finding solutions and removing stress and fatigue. Just embracing new teaching philosophies and implementing them while preparing lessons, is driving a car on a highway without looking in the side mirrors. There are possibilities that the methods adopted by the teacher may be appropriate in certain situations but cannot guarantee the 100% assurance of its success. So in those situations what helps the teacher is none other than his self-analysis. There is no side effect of self-analysis as it only has the advantages. Self-assessing techniques Different strategies and tools applied by the teacher in different classes while teaching different topics can confuse the teacher though may not the students. And the same can be avoided if self-analysis is done by the teacher in an appropriate way. If the teacher has given him sufficient time pondering over the task undertaken by him and realizing his mistakes done by him, he can overcome and avoid them in the next classes. Also. Self-analysis can be a productive instrument which may enable the teacher to be expertise in his chosen field and achieve the desired goals. It also allows a teacher to be more self-reliant as he gets to know the authenticity and reliability of his teaching approach and strategies. Are you ready to teach English all over the world? Self-analysis, as mentioned before does not only support the teacher to be expertise in his profession but also benefits him to know about his own methods, teaching styles, rapport with the students, colleagues, parents and moreover about himself. It also makes the teacher competent in maintaining the balance between his personal and professional life. So, in conclusion, it can be stated that self-analysis is very much important for a teacher. 
speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.